this conflict of interest that presents itself when the mayor of a village or municipality is also the chief judicial officer of their local court. There are nearly 300 mayor's courts in Ohio, and the ACLU claims they are prioritizing money over justice. It points to data out of Brattonall Mayor's Court, which it says shows the village is writing the majority of traffic tickets on its stretch of I-90. And the ACLU claims these tickets are disproportionately issued to low-income or black drivers. Five on your side, investigator Joe Paganakis with us live tonight. Joe, Brattonall's mayor told you these allegations just aren't true. Well, Rob, Mayor John LeCastro insists I-90 enforcement is all about safety first and the law, but the ACLU believes his court and other mayor's courts statewide need to be reformed to create better transparency and accountability. Here on Brattonall's three-mile stretch of I-90, no one can deny traffic enforcement is needed here. With Mayor John LeCastro reporting drivers are caught daily doing 80, 90, sometimes more than 100 miles an hour. But the ACLU of Ohio says when traffic enforcement is tied to mayor's courts. Mayors have a compelling interest to generate revenue through the operations of their mayor's courts. Um, and we believe that that is problematic. The ACLU issued this report in 2019 over what it says is a conflict of interest, putting up this billboard on I-90, recommending mayor's courts in Cuyahoga, Summit, Franklin, and Hamilton counties be eliminated. An overwhelming number of these individuals who are being cited and forced to pay these exorbitant fines in the Brattonall Mayor's Court are from uh, are non-residents of Brattonall traveling through, more than likely members of or communities of color, and are of lower socioeconomic status. News 5 reviewed Brattonall traffic tickets issued in January and July of 2018 and found that 78% of them were issued here on I-90, with 51% of them issued to African Americans, 41% issued to white drivers, and 8% where race was not listed or listed as other. The accusation that mayor's court is about revenue and that somehow it's presidential or our officers um, are racially motivated is absolutely absurd. Mayor LeCastro called the ACLU report inaccurate and defended the transparency of his mayor's court, offering a simple explanation for the distribution of tickets issued by his village police. We're surrounded by Cleveland, which is mostly a city of people of minorities and color. That's who drives through Bratnall. Still, Bratnall Councilman Keith Benjamin is instructing council to look further into enforcement and mayor's court practices. We also cannot deny that structural and institutional racism exists in our society and that our mayor's court overwhelmingly hears cases from people of color and lower socioeconomic classes. Councilman Benjamin says he'll hold a hearing on this issue at City Hall within the next several weeks. I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis. All right, Joe, thank you very much. Also tonight, Ohio's governor is worried about the potential